<laughs> Farewell and goodbye. I got you again. Clickbait. Goodbye 2019. Hello 2020. That's right. Letters, 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 letters for the last day of December. Last day of 2019. December 13. Or 31. See, I'm dyslexic. 13, 31 looks the same to me. December 31. <laughs> we went to uh, the restaurant today. I ordered, I ordered a Caesar salad with uh, salmon. And the lady brought me Caesar salad with shrimp. And I said, I ordered salmon. And my sister said, no, you didn't. You ordered shrimp. And I went, oh, really? <laughs> well, I thought I ordered salmon. I don't know. Anyway. Whatever. It was good, though. I, st I like shrimp, too. But I pref was hoping for salmon. But it was all right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, you go, Crotchy. Go, Dave. Happy New Year's, dudes. Jazz man. Thank you, jazz man. Uh, T Manic 2 says, Dave, the fact that my sweet little girl Phoebe just passed, I can relate to this person losing their pet. I shocked myself and rescued a dog from a local shelter. Not sure if I should have got one so quickly. Good job, Dave. Happy New Year. I really am a, you know, I, I really think that there is nothing wrong with going out right away and getting another cat or a dog if you've lost or, you know, your dog or cat has passed on this year. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean you loved or, you know, your dog. Or, you don't need a period of mourning, you know, but go out and use that energy and put it to, a, put it to good use with another lonely pet. You know, go to the shelter, okay? Some pet that's been rejected or lost or whatever, I think that's a great thing. Use that love as, you know, you're given a certain amount of love. It's not like Reverend Dave. You're given a certain amount of love and put it to good use, you know. And, okay, you need to mourn your pet for a couple days, sure. Maybe not the very next day, but it's a good. I, I don't see a problem with it. I think it's a good idea. As quickly as possible, get another critter in your life. Here's a little bit of trivia I didn't know. Jen Fister, uh, Jen Falaster, Falater, Jen Falat Falater. P-H-I-L-L-A-T-E-R. Anyway, and in, Aus in Arizona, they had an offshoot of Route 66 that was Route 666. Now, really, who thought of that one? Route 666. People were always stealing the signs, and some merchants didn't want it as an address, so they renamed it Bound 2000. <laughs> Route, yeah, I can, I, that's not a surprise to me. RV Camper writes in 2019 at the 2019 RTR only Bob was allowed to sell anything because it was on BLM land people can't sell merch but Bob had I guess some sort of special permission that's from uh, I, I don't know man I don't know uh, but anyway uh, that's uh, interesting you know this year the RTR, the seminars, the programs are going to be held at a uh, camp, what is it, a fairground, which is not BLM, right? So Bob said he spent close to 15 k I guess, renting that fairground space for those two weeks or so. And uh, I would imagine he can sell all the merch he wants to sell at that. I don't think there are, it's not government land, so there shouldn't be any restrictions on that. I don't know. And then maybe, you know, why, do, why doesn't he lease some booths out to other people selling merch, you know? I mean, that's a good way of making some money. You want to put a table out for a couple days? You know, I don't know. I think that would be a better way of getting back the $15,000 that he allegedly spent on the RTR than, uh, you know, trying to make people pay $5 a pop, which is, you know, I, I don't know. I guess you can try and ask. RJ63 says, I think as a Cami Awards presenter, I deserve an award from you and a check from Aaron. How about an award from Aaron and a check from me? I'll send you a check. I sent Mark Fun Jones a, a check on the Camo Bank. <laughs> I'll send you one too. Give me your address. <laughs> Just don't try to cash it. Ninth Element Adventure Van Life says, I should not shave the beard. Leave the beard on. It makes you look like a nomad if that's what you are aiming for. Winning! That's right. I want to look like a nomad. Yeah. I, yeah. I, if I can't be one, I can sure look like one, can I? Rossana says, I should first shave everything off, then try a full beard. Why not? Uh, always keep the beard very short, though. Even... Uh, 
uh, and well-trimmed shape that will give your face a tighter, slimmer, and more handsome character and appearance. Uh, yeah, you know, I used to have a full beard. I did. I did. I liked it. I did like it. I don't know. but And it was pretty long, too. All right, some pictures of Dave before the beard. <laughs> ah, this is high school. <laughs> you don't want me to shave that beard off. And then I looked like this. <laughs> Yes, I did. For many years, full beard there. And uh, this one too, yep. Wow. Anyway, oh yeah. I, I yeah. It's gotten a little grayer since then, don't you think? I don't know, man. Hey, finally, goodbye to 2019. Good year for me. I hope it was a good year for you. We're on to 2020. Lots of cool things. So uh, I will I will not be doing a video in the morning because I will probably be on the road heading south. However, I do have a video in the can that I'll probably upload in the morning. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. All right. And I want to wish you all a very, very, very happy new year. And I thank you all for being here on the site and uh, on my channel and all that. What, what did I say? My channel. Be here for on my channel. Thank you so much. And I miss Evie Nova. Vlog under. Oh.